do you write your name? Is it your preference that we use the Enye on your last name? Or yeah, <laughs> I don't mind. Okay, so They've always messed it up my whole life, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, when I got on the field, I felt I felt comfortable. Um, it's a it's a weird transition, but I felt like I I got it quick. So yeah. Why did you choose to make that transition? Why did I choose? Yeah. So my dad uh, played professional soccer and um, you know football. I wasn't like a big football time player or whatever. So he, you know, it all started, you know, w one day he's like, hey, let's, uh, let's go to the Alabama football camp. And, you know, I told him, hey, if, if I go here and they offer me, then I'm going to keep playing football. If not, I'm done playing football. I'm going to keep playing soccer. So I went up there and um, I did really good. They offered me and, and it, it pretty much took off from there. What was the range of emotions on, on the day three of the draft? Kind of from going on draft, I don't know if you thought you were going to get drafted. Mm -hmm. and Knowing you'd be going to the same place as Johnny. Yeah, um, it, I was pretty. It was pretty nervous. Um, it was a. Uh, it was it was nervous but fun. Um, I thought I was gonna get drafted. I thought I was good enough. I did really good at the combine. Had a bunch of private workouts. But I mean, I'm blessed to be here. Thank God every day that the Raiders gave me a shot. So make the best of it. Johnny said that he made an emphasis to kind of look at you and Giorgio as even even though. You know, people may think he's had bias toward you. Mm -hmm. How do you see that? It, it, I don't want to say awkward, but how has that been kind of having him, obviously, knowing yeah. you're also working with Georgia? It's been amazing. Um, Georgia's a really good kicker, really good guy. Learned a lot from him. Um, it's a good battle. He's got a good leg. So do I. He's accurate. Um, it's going to be fun. I've seen some of those videos of, of you and 70, 75 yards. <laughs> Where does the power come from? The power? Probably, um, so like I said, my dad played professional soccer and me growing up, um, you know, he's, he's, he's brought me out to the field and he, he would make me kick 100 uh, soccer balls with my left and 100 with my right every single day. So that's my secret. So, if I had to say. Yeah. Um, yeah, I felt like in the beginning my mechanics were a little noisy. Um, I only played two years of college, um, but I feel like over time, just my mechanics are getting better. And just you know, I've been watching a lot of Dan Bailey and uh, seeing what he does, and and um, seeing him as a rookie and stuff, and that's helped me a lot as well. And you know, I've talked to Caleb Sturgis. He he kicked at Florida, and he was a big mentor for me when I was there. So just training with those guys in the off season and stuff like that, it's really helped me as far as. Mechanic wise. Do you ever try to get Johnny to turn the laces toward Giorgio? <laughs> <laughs> never. I never wish bad upon nobody. <laughs> never, never, never. Did you um did you just did you graduate? Did you just go Yeah, I graduated. I got my bachelor's degree in uh, criminal, justice. criminal justice. Yeah, and a minor in African American studies. So was that a proud moment for you? Oh yeah, I'm the first one in my family to graduate, so that was that was bigger than getting drafted for me if I had to say. Criminal justice is that all something that you would hope to pursue after your career? Or yeah, after I, I think after I play in the NFL, I would like to be a police officer. That's one of been one of my dreams. Help out other people and get drugs off the street. That's been my goal. So, do you do a lot of film work? Do you find value? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been working with uh, with a special teams coach on that. We watch film every day, and Byron as well. We watch film with him and. I think it's helped me a lot, just helping me technique-wise, and, and and yeah. What do you consider your, your realistic range to be? Like, how, how far back do you feel comfortable with something so like Realistic range? I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Um, Depends if it's windy. All depends. Do you have to kick off the infield dirt? Say it again? Do you ever have to kick off the infield dirt before? Never, <laughs> never. I heard about it. I heard about it. That should be fun. That's going to be interesting. Never never had to. Challenges are always good. Yeah. What have you? Playing the SEC, obviously, there's 100,000 people there. Yeah. Oftentimes when you're on the road, you're hoping that you miss. Is it something that came naturally to you, tuning out all of the outside noise and the circumstance? There's obviously big moments in yeah, I mean, when I played soccer, I was always the guy that took the free kicks, the penalty kicks, those pressure moments. Um, 
Maybe, yeah. I, I think uh, going on the road, like you said, it's it was it was a whatever transition. It wasn't a. I, I don't really think about it. I just go out there and kick the ball and just pray. That's all I do. So you it's healthy. So when you make it, that do you enjoy it when it just goes quiet? Oh, 100 percent. LSU was one of those moments <laughs> last year. That was cool. Did you uh, you miss more extra points than field goals last year? Yeah. <laughs> was, there, was there a bad, a bad hold or something? Or nah, nah, nah. Hold? There was no bad holds. It was my fault. Um, I should have made them. There was no excuses, but I did miss. Nah, I didn't even think about that. That's true. <laughs> yeah. The, the first game of the season, I didn't miss after that, thank yeah. God. I got into my rhythm, got into my groove, and um, it was good. What have you learned about and also from Giorgio over these past few months? What have I learned from him? About him and from him, yeah. Uh, being a professional, honestly, just seeing his mindset and um, seeing him and, uh, you know, watching film and how he breaks down his kicks, it's helped me a lot. And he's a really good guy. It's, it's, you guys would think that, oh, you know, it's awkward competing or this and that. It's not awkward. I, I think God has a plan for everybody, and that's just the way I look at it. And, and yeah. So. Has Georgia been pretty forthcoming? It doesn't seem like he'd be the type of guy to cause it. Oh. You know, no, yeah, no, no, no. He's he's helped me out a lot. Um, and you know we share our, our little secrets together. If that makes sense, as far as kicking wise. What's been the message from uh, Coach Gruden? Pretty, pretty low key kind of guy. Yeah, he's low key, very <laughs> low key, very low key. Yeah. All right. You guys all set? All right. Appreciate you guys.